Let's have a look at what we can do to enhance talking together. Listen more than you talk. Try not to talk at or over a child. And remember, it's important to give them time to think about the information that they've heard. Involve children in conversation. By talking about things that children find fun and interesting, you can help them to understand new words and ideas. Use visual cues. Objects, pictures and gestures can all be used to support what you're saying and encourage the children to do the same. Emphasize turn-taking. This helps children understand that you'll listen to them, but that they must also listen to you. Value what children say, even if you don't understand. Try to offer an interpretation or explain that you don't understand. Let's take a look at how this works. Talking together is all about trying to listen more than you talk. That's quite new, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, do you like Finderland feelings? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's because you didn't go to my toolless house. And it's got 12 floors of it. Number 12. Here we see an adult with more talkative children. By listening more than he talks and giving them time to think, the adult enables them to talk about topics that they're interested in. That's right. When talking together, it's also important to involve the children in what you're saying and doing. He's roaring or growling. And you can see his tongue in his mouth. Yeah. When we're talking together with children, it's helpful to use visual cues. Where do they want to go? The rabbit, yeah. It's too scary. It's not scary. You can use real objects and also emphasise what you're saying with gestures. And they want to go on the boat with Mr Gumpy, don't they? Mr Gumpy? Yeah. Oh, the dog! The dog! How's the dog go? Woof, woof, woof. Books are also a good source of visual cues. Here we see the pictures in a book being used to help the children and adult talk together. Pig. How does the pig go? Oh, oink. Oh, oink. Oink. Right. He wants to get on the boat as well. You want to go on the boat? You, 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 you go on that one. Oh, right. Yeah, we all want to go on the boat, don't we? Talking together involves taking turns. Some children will benefit from you emphasising turn-taking, as well as looking interested in what they're doing. Castle's gonna... gonna fall down. Helping them to be involved. Oh, fall down. Gone. Castle's gone. When talking together, it's vital to value what children say. Where, where did the aeroplane go? To Julia. Julia. Nigeria. Ah, did you go to Nigeria in an aeroplane? Yeah. Who? Mom. Where your mum comes from? Is yeah, that dad. right? My dad comes from Nigeria. Your mum and your dad come from Nigeria. Did you go to Nigeria to see your family? See Here we see the adult showing bags of interest. What, who makes that noise? Giving them her full attention. He has something for him. He has the very much love. He has lots and lots and lots. And showing a desire to understand without dominating the conversation. Rats. Ah, oh, is that. He closed his eyes and he's happy like that. He was happy. Who was happy? Um, the, the, the black with. Black, but mm -hmm. he's not happy. He's not happy. He was angry. So somebody was angry with her. By listening and checking her own understanding, 
This adult is showing the children that she's interested in what they're talking about, even if it means getting distracted from an activity for a short time. Who, who was it that was closing their eyes? Um, was it one of your family? Was no. it somebody that you know? No, it's the lion. Lion. It's the... Lion. Lion? Yeah. Did you see a lion? Yeah. When you went to Nigeria?